Hi guys, so the Brexit Opportunities Minister has been hard at work doing two things. First, looking for actual benefits of leaving the EU and also looking for ways to remove anti-corruption safeguards that were put in place while the UK was a member of the European Union. The next set of regulations to be chucked on the fire is public procurement and the bidding process that's been in place to provide value for money but also transparency. Tory ministers are trying to sell this axing of protections as levelling the playing field for smaller businesses to compete with larger ones. Just a side note, large publicly listed companies don't tend to make political donations like medium-sized ones do. Anyway, a source in Whitehall said, We're moving away from 350 European regulations that govern procurement down to one British one and we're making the system as fast, transparent and light touch as possible with a focus on making it easier for small businesses to get procurement contracts. Because at the minute they're dominated by big businesses which have huge compliance budgets and know how to game the system, that know how to navigate through the complicated applications. Our plan is to make sure that it's really, really easy for small businesses up and down the country to bid for government procurement. That means it will open up £300 billion to be better spent with small businesses in the UK. Now, this has been sold as a major shake-up by Jacob Rees-Mogg's department. It should come in the form of a procurement bill that we should see being pushed through Parliament at some stage. Mogg's department has said that smaller companies and startups are at present locked out of the bidding process. The Entrepreneurs' Network, which is a think tank, has claimed that taxpayers are paying too much for underperforming public services because government is failing to buy from small businesses and startups. A common complaint is that those bidding for the contract are often required to demonstrate that they have delivered contracts of similar sizes, and they say this effectively excludes startups from many tenders. Jacob rees the Brexit Opportunities Minister, spoke to the media about this and said, I want to ensure our reforms are as ambitious as possible, achieve value for money for taxpayers by reducing bureaucracy for businesses and make it easier to procure new technologies. The public sector must not be frightened of startups and innovation. However, one of the reasons a tendering process is difficult and bureaucratic is to ensure that those bidding for the contract can demonstrate the ability to complete the work. A risk with a startup or a small company is that if they find out later they cannot complete the job, money and time is wasted. It also increases the risk that a certain project will not receive further funding, or worse, it could be scrapped due to a bad tendering experience. Mogg and his Tory chums will attempt to sell this to the public as a means of allowing smaller companies to compete with larger ones for the same work. But in reality, as we've seen during the pandemic, a rightly placed political donation can put you at the head of the queue and if the public procurement process is less robust it will result in more taxpayer money being wasted not less let me know in the comment section guys what you think as always your comments are greatly appreciated thanks a lot